Cedars chairs and some other stuff and yeah it's 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 uh welded shut all right uh, this is shirley a she's born january 12 1937 she passed away july 7 2016. her husband robert w december 15 1921 he was born passed away december 16. they were both married october 30th Feely, James A. and Eliza. Uh, he was born 1881, passed away in 1952. She was born 1881, passed away in 1960, born the same year. And somebody still remembers, she left a rose uh, right in the middle of their headstone. That's decorated too. Yeah, that's some old headstones. I'm going to take a look at one of them. Uh, this is in memory of Mary A., consort of W. Hurley, who died. June 1841, in the 60th year of her life. Oh, this one here. Decorated. Uh, Ruth E. Johnson, oh, March 14, 1919. She passed away November 28, 2003. I'll put this back up here. And uh, yeah, look at all the decorations. She's still being remembered. That's so great. Makes you wonder, right? How did this big tombstone just fall over? The thing is, I don't know who's on it. You know, the face part of it's laying on the ground. <laughs> there ain't no way I can pick that up and lift. So, yeah, it makes you wonder, right? Well, maybe Joe McWeasley and A. Uh, McWeasley. Passway 1913. She was born in 1862, passed away in 1934, and this is probably their headstone or monument. Turn around and saw this huge big monument. Uh, on this side is Nancy Jackson, born July 13th, 1857, passed away March 17th, 1867. She only lived 10 years. Uh, Levi F. Jackson, born July 5th, 1860, passed away June 28, 1868, eight years. Infant son of L.F. and E.R. Jackson, born April 12th, 1865, and passed away probably the same day. So on her side. Ah, this must be father. Lee, Levi F. Jackson, born like in Chester County, Pennsylvania, January 7th, 1826. He died September 22nd, 1889. His wife Elizabeth, wife of Levi, of course. Born January 7th, 1826. She passed away on September 26, 1888. Okay. My guess there's something missing. Is that her? Remember Eugenia, wife of William, who's that? Harrison? Harrison? 
uh, and daughter of Joseph C. and Elizabeth Jenkins. Uh, she's born April 14, 1842, passed away December 5th, 1866. And I'm wondering if that is supposed to be up there. Well, at least it's standing erect. I mean, it's not laying on the ground. Uh, I know this is an old one, but look at the design. Uh, it's like Paulina E. Uh, looks like she was born. Can't really tell. It's really weathered out. I think she was born in 1844. Passed away in. 1880. It's a little weather to figure out what that is, but it's still unique looking in it. Yep. All right, this is Tyrus Raymond Cobb Ruth, Tech 5 U.S. Army, World War II vet, born March 22nd, 1916, passed away December 5th, 2003. His flag was laying on the ground. I picked it up, and put it back up. You know, Christmas is uh, really over, but you know what? It's still amazing to see this stuff. American flags, Christmas decorations. Robert Louis Burns, U.S. Navy, Vietnam vet. Born July 21st, 1950. He passed away March 23rd, 1988. Yeah. Oh, let me pick this up. Well, I don't know. I think it goes there. Okay. Before I move on, take a look where we're at here in the cemetery. That is all farmland. So that way is toward inside Boone County, and over that way, the Ohio River. And so yeah, this is where we're at. Right next to a farm. Welcome to Kentucky. This is in memory of Julie Louis Antros. October 4th, 1890 to March 2nd, 1933. He's a father. Those are bad. Ida May can trust December 16th, 1920 to September 12th, 2003. Love you. That is unique. Alright, in loving memory of our son and brother and dad, Michael Shane Wheeler, born December 21st, 1970, he passed away April 10th, 2019. Car. Remember the building I was talking about at the beginning of my intro? Well, I think it's a restroom. You know, this is the second restroom in the cemetery. The first one, of course, is last season, Maple Grove. And there's one on this side and there's one on the other side. But really, there's one other spot you gotta look at. You gotta take a little glance at real quick. Now, I'm guessing this is like a chapel. It's clean. I don't know. I think this is a crypt. I think it's just a place to. I don't know. The calendar in here and a bunch of flowers. And doors propped open. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Half outhouse and half meeting room or chapel. Oh. Everyone's guess is good enough. All right, look at this headstone. Emory E. and Louis L. Emory, born February 1st, 1908, passed away December 9th, 18, or 1983, sorry. And Louis, born August 26th, 1909, and December 10th, what does that mean? Oh, she's born August 26th, 1909, she passed away December 10th, 1983, and look at that. The church. Cheyenne Irene Harrison, April 19th, 19, and she was cremated and her ashes are buried here. I've got an aunt that had the same thing done with hers. Uh, Robert C., August 17, 1924, to November 9, 2013, and Irene S., his wife, January 4, 1928, to January 5, 2006. Both married April 22, 1944. Two loving hearts that only death can part. I'm guessing it might be her daughter. Their daughter? I think, I think she might be. Right next to them is Timothy W. Hensley. I guess it's her brother. 
February 26, 1958. Fast July 1st, 2001. Look at that part. I think it's on. It says, Ride with the Wind. It says, A loving mother, grandmother, and great grandmother, Mary J. Cobb. February 27, 1937. Fast August 6, 2021. Love by all and love all. I like it. Speak the business. Yeah, I came across these three headstones, but these two don't have any writings on them. But this one says my daddy, James Edward Duncan, April 13, 1929, December 3rd, 1990. There's no names on the headstones. Well, whoever they are, tears can build a stairway to heaven. Your memories of lane. Walk right up to heaven. Here's Mark A. Hornsby, May 11, 1957, April 10, 2021. I got a trip for you. I did it my way. Ride it like you stole it. Brittany Ann Hornsby, May 20th, 1984, passed away May 22nd, 2006. Calling of an angel. Calling of an angel, my heart was softly said. It sounded near, but yet so far, not one thing did I dread. I have traveled far away from earth and all its woes. The calling of the angel is why I had to go. To leave you for a little while is what I had to do, but forever is the promise God gave to me and you. Carry no sorrow while I'm gone, think of me and wait. I'll be right here in heaven as you enter through the gate. So keep a smile inside your heart when you think of me and then, for it won't be long, my dear ones, I'll be with you once again. We love you, Brittany. Call her Brittany. Uh, Luther B. Stevens, LB. April 8, 1943. Passed away August 2nd, 2007. Living father to her Now there's something in the back. Wow. It says, Awakening Courage Vigilance. Love husband and dad. Marvin Ray Loudon. February 22nd, 1943, passed away January 19, 2002. This poem says, Come with me. God saw that he was getting tired and cure was not to be. So he put his arms around him and whispered, Come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched him suffer and fade away. Although we loved him dearly, we would not ask him to stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard working hands to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Annabelle Sue Watkins, February 23rd, 1974, passed away 26, 2020. Beloved daughter, sister, wife, mother, and my mom. Wind really gusting out here. No, I think it's been down a while. There we go. Love is nothing to be loved is something. To be loved by the person you love is everything. Oh, you need headstone, Carl Oski. Read Ann, November 12th, 1936, passed away October 5th, 2008. Forever in our hearts. That's a nice one. Got the prayer hand in the shape of a cross. Love, son, grandson, and brother, Danny Ray Lancaster. September 9th, 1974. day at last my rising lord i'll see no greater happiness than to see him face to face i'll just see the love in his eyes and feel his warm embrace next row here. i've done nothing to deserve that perfect home above it was given freely though the grace of jesus is love then why should earthly cares weigh down upon me so you'll be in distant memory when home at last i go i love memory austin bradley slusher September 11, 1998, passed away July 1st, 2022. Son, brother, fiance, father, and friend. All the stuff here. I think it's got one more. I'm not but sweet are the memories that will never fade. Our little family always and forever. That's J. 
Johnny Everett Sergeant. Sarge, I think he's May 15, 1945, March 4th, 2011. Love you, And he was a Sergeant U.S. Army of Vietnam. I am May 15, 1945, March 4th, 2015. Terry Ray McGuire, 61484, 7315. A wooden cross. There's some on the back, too. Land, Zoe, and Kaya. This must be their care kids. That's beautiful. Even though it's just a headstone. You can have anything out here, I guess. That's beautiful. Handmade is probably the best one. Listen to that. Wind Chimes, uh, Darlene K. Walker, July 23rd, 1959, June 24th, 2020, call her sis. Mother Nino, sister, aunt, wife friend. Uh, your life was a blessing, your memory treasure. You are a lord beyond words, or care beyond words, and miss beyond measure. Loving memory of Father William Lee Begley, 1948-1993. Willie, from the many friends and family. Oh, William Lee Begley. Oh, Willie. Uh, Kaylee Renee Page, in our hearts forever. October 1st, 1999, passed away August 6th, 2007. Rest in paradise. Time for my video where I honor the ring. Larry Joe Campbell, born March 8, 1950, passed away December 4th, 1940, or 2014. And he was a U.S. Marine. U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam. And I have a flag. Albert Hitchfield Prince, born December 5th, 1911, passed away May 3rd, 1997. Look at that. So he's going hunting. And he's a baseball fan. Alright, time for that grave I was telling you about. He's not a celebrity or a movie star, but he was a Medal of Honor winner. Sergeant the U.S. Army in Vietnam. Charles Clinton Flick, August 28, 1947. Unfortunately, he was killed May 27, 1969 in Vietnam. Born on August 28, 1947 in Petersburg, Kentucky. He served in the U.S. Army, 25th Army Infantry Division in South Vietnam and is the only Medal of Honor recipient from Boone County. Fleck was decorated for his valor, receiving bronze and silver stars, two accommodation medals, and Purple Heart. On May 27, 1969, in Bingdong Province in Vietnam, a North Vietnamese Army soldier threw a grenade into Flick's squad position. He threw himself onto the grenade, absorbing his blast and saving a U.S. soldier, eight of them. Flick was promiscuously awarded the Medal of Honor by President Richard Nixon on, on February 16, 1971. Now I know. But it doesn't matter what branch of service you're in, you serve the country proudly. So, for that, I will bestow him this flag. Even though he's not a Marine, or was not a Marine, I'll say simplify anyway. Simplify, Charles, Sergeant, simplify. Your service and your sacrifice will never be forgotten. Especially by the graveyard traveler. Alright, thanks for coming to the Cemetery Tour here in Petersburg, Kentucky at the Petersburg Cemetery. That was a video. Great man to jump on a grenade and say they can hurt other soldiers. But anyway, thank you for joining me.